Hey Fire Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for December 23rd, 2018. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So let's see what we have going on for Sunday. Spirit and Angels, please bring me the message for the collective fire signs. Please bring the best and or the message that's best and greatest good of fire signs. I had a flipper. Okay, so you guys have the Eight of Swords, the Empress in Reverse, the Knight of Wands in Reverse. Who is the Fire Signs dealing with? Please bring me their energy for Sunday. Fire Sign Partners. Thank you. Okay. They have the Fool in Reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in the Upright, the High Priestess, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Cups, both in Reverse. I will take them both. So can I get two for the Fire Sign to even out the energy, please? The Eight of Pentacles for you guys. And the Two of Wands. All right, the outcome of a Sunday. It's the outcome of these two energies. Thank you. Strength, hello, Leo. Thank you. The Four of Wands in reverse. And the Hermit in the upright. All right, your guys' shared energy is the Page of Pentacles in the reverse put these on the right side so I know the seven of swords ouch and the three of wands in reverse okay so you guys are um yeah you guys are taking some time to Decide whether uh, this situation that you've been holding on to, that you've been almost trapped by, is worth um, investing in any longer. This person or you, um, <sighs> yeah, there's just a lot of, there's a lot of things you don't know. This person has kept a lot of things from you. Um, you're just trying to gain clarity. You just want the truth. You just care about one sword. And this person has kept you from moving on with the six sword, six of swords. Um, and you put the two together and you have the seven of swords. So you, this person is hiding it a lot and it may not even necessarily be bad. They're just not telling you something. They're not telling you a lot of things. And it's, it's to keep you, um, it's to keep you investing, keep you waiting. It's also clarified by the three of wands in reverse. So you're at a distance from this person and you, and you're not able to move any closer because of this, uh, of these secrets of, and like I said, it's not even necessarily bad. It's, it could be, I don't know. I haven't got that far yet, but it's just things not spoken. You you can't move on with the six of swords because you don't have that ace of swords of truth. So it's keeping you in this deceitful energy. Like I said, you guys have the eight of swords. So um, you're feeling trapped. You don't know how to move forward because you don't have the truth. And you don't know if you want to move forward because you don't know the situation. You don't know what's going on. This person is not opening up to you. So you guys aren't able to create something together yet. You're not able to... You're creatively blocked, period, but you're not able to even um, birth a new relationship um, to get this uh, off the ground. You also could have been the mistress to this person, and they're no longer speaking to you or contacting you at the moment um, with the empress. That is often the empress. You have the three of wands and the three of cups here. So um, I do feel you guys were the mistress. That's why they were keeping keeping secrets from you. 
keeping things hidden. So you would stick around. So you would wait for them. So you would invest in them. And um, so now you're feeling lost. You're feeling stuck because they're not communicating with you. They're not getting any closer to you. Um, there's no longer possibly any communication with this person. They're just, they just, you could have just been ghosted recently. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. There, there's no speaking right now. There, it's very secretive, this person. Um, you have the Knight of Wands as your next card out. So, fire signs, you're not able to move forward. Like I said, you're stuck. You're not, you don't know which direction to go. You don't know if this person's coming back. You don't know anything because they're not telling you anything. Um, so you're stuck. You're not moving. You're just sitting in limbo and you're getting really tired of it because you want to work on this connection. You want to work on this relationship. You are ready and willing to put the effort in, but you, you don't know where they're at. You don't know what they're doing. They're not speaking. If you do know where they're at, they're just not, and you are speaking to them. They're not openly communicating with you. They're not being honest about what's going on. So you, you still feel stuck because they're not opening up at all. So it's leaving you at a crossroads. It's leaving you to go within and to see which, which direction do I want to go in? Do I want to um, move forward and away from this person and onto somebody else? Or do I want to um, move down the other path and continue moving forward, but um, knowing it's the same path that this person's going to be walking as well? Um, you know, the answers are down here. Um, and it's being hidden from you. You have to go within in order to find your answers. Um, it's not visible to everybody. It's not out there for the world to see. It's within your own self, your own heart, and what you truly want. Um, if you feel you have to move on, move on. Because uh, if it's your true soulmate, if it's your true twin flame, they will come back into your life when they are meant to, no matter how hard you try to hide. If they are your soulmate and your destiny and your twin flame, they're going to find you. So move, go within and pick the path that is best for you right now. That's all you can do is follow your heart. Your person, <clears throat> like I said, you're, you're stuck and unable to move forward because there's nothing getting off the ground. There's no new beginning. There's no new start. There's no nothing right now because this person doesn't know where they want to uh, go either and they're not taking that leap of faith they're not they haven't finished their cycle with somebody else yet they're still i'm surprised the world isn't here actually because that's why the fool is in reverse they have to finish something else before they can take that leap of faith with you and that's what they're not telling you they haven't finished that something else yet so they can't give this to you right now and honestly they don't have the answers or they don't have what you want to hear so they're just pulling back and not talking, period, or they're pulling back and not truthfully speaking. They are still nurturing a second relationship. This is a third party for sure. It could be an earth sign that they are with, um, but they are still investing in somebody else and nurturing a different relationship. Um, whether they're truly investing or not, they're still making this person believe that they're investing in them. For some reason, it could be for monetary reasons. Um, who knows? But either way, they're investing in this person. And that's why uh, this that's why you as as the third party is being blocked out. This person could have found out about the third party and they are putting a stop to this temporarily. Um, could be a Taurus they're dealing with with the Empress and the Queen right there. But um, yeah. Yeah. But it won't last forever because I do see them coming back towards you um, for this group of you. Like I said, very secretive. Um, you are a secret and that's why you can't move forward. That's why you guys can't come together just yet because they're hiding things still from this person. Um, your, your intuition is spot on. So if it don't feel right, it's not right. The Nine of Cups is here in reverse as well. They want to be with you. They know there's a spiritual connection here that is nothing they've ever experienced before. They know that the, the way you make them feel is amazing. 
and you are the one that makes them happy. But for some reason, they are stuck in this relationship for the time being. So they're feeling really depressed. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of tears um, from this person that you are in separation from because you are their wish. You are who they want. You are who they want to move toward. You are who they want to work on a relationship with. But um, for right now, the third party has to end. This uh, Three of Cups is in reverse. So this person found out about you, the third party. So they had to cut out the third party temporarily while they deal with this situation. But they're very sad. They do, they do, I mean, this is your soulmate, your twin flame for sure. And you know the connection as well. You know there's something spiritual too. And that's what's keeping you in this Eight of Swords energy because you're like, I hate to move forward from this connection that was so amazing and has so much potential, but they're not communicating with you and they're being deceitful. So you're like, fuck this, I'm out. But then yet yeah, you're like, well, wait, I can't because I know that we can make amazing things together. And that's why you're at that crossroads. Um, your guys' outcome, strength, was your first card out. You guys have the power to take control of the situation, take control of the outcome, and do what it is that you need to do to um, that's best for you. This situation does not control you. You have every... Um, you have all the power in the world and this is a, a divine connection. So like I said, they will be back, but in order for them to come back, you have to, um, you have to go within and work on yourself. Not saying there's anything wrong with you, but you have to move forward. You can't stay in the stuck position and expect them to come back because it doesn't work that way. Um, you have to continue to move forward. You have to flip this baby upside or up, right side up and ride your horse on out of there. So um, you do have the strength. You are facing your fear and having the courage to um, leave this behind and move forward. This card is also for your partner. However, they have a lot of fear. They have a lot of fear about leaving this person. And this person could know things about them that they're scared will come out that they don't want everybody to know because this person has something over them that is keeping them here and unable to move towards their wish come true, unable to celebrate with you. Um, there's something that, that this person has on them and it's nuts. So um, your next card out was the four of wands in reverse. This relationship is over. This relationship has no solid foundation. There is no happiness here. There is a lot of hurt, a lot of uh, arguing, and they just don't see themselves with this person forever. But they don't, they're fearful right now. They are scared to walk away from this commitment that they are currently in. They are um, needing to get gather the strength to uh, face their fear and move forward. But they are currently in a spot that they are going to be able to gather that strength. They are going to see the light. They are going to be awakened in that hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Aries. What else do I have here? Pisces, Taurus. Yeah, those are the major arcana I got here. But um, they are currently um, in a time of silence from you, if, especially if you were ghosted. Because this person had to go within. They had to go within and find their inner light, allow spirit to awaken them, allow spirit to enlighten them, and um, to the path that they can take to get towards their soulmate. So in this time that they are retreating, they are going to be enlightened to how to move forward and have strength and courage and get out of this relationship that they're currently feel like they are tied and bound to and to move towards you. Yeah, you could have been in separation from them since September as well. I'm going to pull a clarifier quick. What is this? 
why is this high priestess here? I want to know what secret they have on them that they're scared to leave away from. Why is the high priestess? Okay, so they did some, there's something that they did that was deceitful. There's something they did that was not uh, on the up and up that they're scared this person is going to out them with. So it's keeping them from moving toward what they're passionate about. It's keeping them from um, moving towards you. But they are going to be awakened. I promise you. They are in the hermit right now. Um, this is also calling for you to go retreat. Break away from all this drama. Get away from all this energy. And to allow yourself to be spiritually spiritually recentered. Ground yourself. Focus on your inner light and begin to move forward. And that's when this person will come back after facing their fear and in this current situation that's going on and offer you a stable commitment, a solid foundation to build on kind of some tough energy, but you guys have been kind of going through that lately. Um, especially if you've just been ghosted recently. Um, if you're new to the twin flame, uh, uh, journey or if you've been in it a couple of years and you're and you're ghost and you're not talking to them that is why so all right fire signs i hope you have a beautiful sunday i'll see you tomorrow god bless